Thank you so much for joining me here today at Everyday Yoga. My name is Christine. My pronouns are she and her, and today we will have a chair yoga practice. We're going to get in some really fluid, flowy, soft movement. We're going to move all of the joints. Um, we're just going to kind of go with the flow in our practice today. So find yourself a safe and sturdy chair, and I will meet you back there. Now that you've found yourself a safe and sturdy, comfortable chair, go ahead and just arrive. Focus on the body, focus on the breath. Just be here right now and maybe for your intention, for your practice today, you will let go of whatever has happened before this moment. Let go of whatever might happen after our practice is over and just resolve to be here in your body. Take a moment to notice the breath wherever you notice it. Maybe it's at the tip of your nose, feeling it come in and out of your nostrils. Maybe it is with the rise and fall of your heart as you inhale and exhale. Maybe it's the expansion of the belly and then the gentle contraction as the belly button comes in towards the spine. Inhaling and exhaling with the eyes closed if that feels good or keep them wide open and take in your surroundings where you are right now. And let's just scan the body for a moment and notice what is going on here in the body. If you have any places that are in pain or contracted or tense, you might notice those places first. And just take your awareness across your body and maybe just send a little love to those places that might be feeling out of sorts. And then see if you can notice some places that are feeling good places that have no complaints and focus on those places and maybe send yourself a little bit of gratitude for those places that feel good. And let's just come into a nice even breath. Bringing our awareness to the breath by taking three cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. And when you exhale, maybe just give it a nice sigh, a big sound, a sound of relief. Just inhale here and open the mouth and let it go. Two more times, just like that. Come back to inhaling and exhaling through the nose, allowing that natural filtration system to filter out the impurities in, any, in the air around you. And just press into the tops of the legs and inhale and draw a nice long spine, tips of the ears towards the sky, pressing down onto your feet and into your seat and letting those elbows come down and the Shoulders soften from the ears, nice and tall, chin tucked, and as you exhale, just kind of relax and find some ease here in this nicely lengthened spine you found. Breathe here through the nose, nice even breaths. And then if your eyes are closed, go ahead and bat them open and let's reach the arms out and along to the sides as we inhale, lifting the fingertips up towards the sky, bring the arms into this V shape and we'll exhale and float the arms down. And here we can begin to get into that kind of rhythm of this flowy fluid movement, reaching up towards the sky as we inhale looking down towards the earth as we exhale. 
Letting the movement come along with the breath. And then begin to kind of find some curves and some gentle movements as if you're swimming through water. And maybe look up towards the sky as you reach your hands upward and look down towards the earth as the arms come downward. And maybe find some rotation in the arms as you reach upward and then some rotation in the arms as you push gently downward. So flipping the palms up, flipping the arms up, reaching to open the heart, drawing those pinkies towards one another, and then exhale, turn the palms down, maybe towards the back, maybe rounding the back into a gentle cat spine. Inhaling, reaching the arms up, kind of a cat, or excuse me, cow with the arched back here. And exhaling, bringing the hands forward. Just finding some fluid movement here that feels good to you, that feels expansive and opening and slow and fluid moving just as fast as your breath wants to move, maybe lifting the arms out to the sides and exhaling them out in front, rounding the back, painting down the wall, inhaling up and out to the side, reaching up, looking up. Exhale forward and front, bringing the arms down along the sides. One more time, opening up that heart and then bringing the palms together overhead and staying here with that chin tucked, pressing the palms together as you continue to breathe. Really finding that opening across the armpits and the upper chest and the side body. And then we'll exhale hands to heart. And from here, we'll inhale that nice tall spine and we'll just exhale, twisting gently to the right, keeping the gaze in line with the heart. Inhale, center, exhale, twisting left. Inhale, center, exhaling, twisting right. Inhale, back to center. Again, moving with your breath at your speed. And maybe as you come next time to the right, you might look back over the right shoulder. And then to the left, looking back over the left shoulder, getting a little bit of a stretch in the neck here. Keeping the eyes open as you look back over each shoulder, Look as far back as you can with the eyes towards the back wall behind you. Getting a little eye yoga in too. And then maybe next time you come right, you might open up the arms to the side. Inhale back to center, palms together. Exhale left and open the arms. Moving with that same fluid intention, looking towards the back as you rotate back. Looking towards the front as you rotate back to center. Maybe you want to reach the back arm up towards the sky. Lifting whatever feels good in your shoulders. One more time on the left. And then we'll come back to center, palms together, and then release the hands down to the knees. And then let's get a little bit of fluid movement here in the legs. So if you're, we can work with just the feet, the knees, the hips. So just beginning with the feet, maybe rock the feet forward and back. If you have limited mobility in the feet or ankles or in the legs, just visualize yourself doing the movement or doing the posture. Visualize it happening in your body, just using your inner awareness, training just like Olympic, Olympic athletes do. You can tell how much I watch the Olympics, but that's what they do. They visualize themselves doing the movement, doing the practice, succeeding at it. And just that 
exercise in the brain helps to make those connections that help to increase your mobility capabilities. Or at least tell your mind that that's what you're doing. And then maybe we want to pick up the right leg and set it down. And then pick up the left leg and set it down. Keeping the nice long spine nice and strong here, but then allowing yourself to be fluid with the movement. Maybe pressing back into that cat back, drawing the belly button to the spine. And as you come forward, maybe coming into that cow heart, lifting and arching the back. Moving with your breath at your pace. One more time each side. And again, visualize this movement if it doesn't feel good to actually do in your body. And then we're gonna take and just step the right leg out and back to center. Left leg out, back to center. Inhaling as you come out. Exhaling as you come back to center. Getting that nice tall spine. Maybe really tapping into that core power as you draw the legs back in towards center. And you can stay here or maybe this time you come to the right, you wanna pick the leg up and out to the side. Pick the left leg up and out to the side. Really getting a little bit more in the hip and in the lymph node area there, in the groin getting some movement, getting some good healthy flow of lymphatic fluid and blood and all of the things that move through our body to keep our bodies nice and safe and healthy. And then maybe you might want to extend the legs and come out to the side. Just lifting, straightening out to the side, back to center. So wherever along this path here works for you, find that nice, fluid, flowy rhythm. Something that just feels good in your body. And maybe you might want to add some arms here too, coming out to the side with the right arm and the right leg coming out to the side with the left arm and the left leg and then maybe getting a little bit of that cat cow spine going opening up into a cow heart rounding back into a cat back and one more time on each side no let's make it two more times on each side this is the last time all right this is the last time left we come back to center and we just tap the feet out, shake the arms out, get a little movement in the shoulders. And take three more cleansing breaths here, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. One more time. Last time here, nice big relief of a sigh. You did it, you showed up and took care of yourself today. And every time you take care of yourself, you're taking care of everybody else too. Let's inhale those arms out and up towards the sky. Bring the palms together and down to the heart here where we'll press those thumbs to the heart and lift the heart to the thumbs and Find that nice, tall, beautiful, long neck here. Close the eyes if that feels comfortable and just come back into your body, pressing onto the bottoms of your feet. Noticing the contact of your sit bones to your chair. Drawing the tips of the ears towards the sky and letting those elbows come towards the earth. Notice your palms touching one another, the connection. And here we'll tilt the chin gently, giving ourselves a little bit of gratitude for showing up today, 
a little bit of grace for just being here and recognizing the connection that we all have. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.